Hey, this is Chris with AffiliateTuber.com. Today I'm going to do a full Create by Videlo review for you. I'm going to take you inside the software, show you what it is, how it works, and you can also pick up some bonuses if you happen to buy Create by Videlo through my affiliate link, which you'll find directly under this video in the description box. And actually, if you go there during launch week, you're going to find some coupon codes also you can use throughout the first four days that will save you some extra money when you buy Create by Videlo. So when you download it, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a little splash screen come up where you can start by creating a new video, importing, a GIF create, check for updates, and support. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on Create New. And this is so easy to use. If you've never used a video editor tool before, and if they've always seemed to look too intimidating for you, or too intimidating to you, this one is easy. They've actually taken out many of the features and options that a lot of times you just don't need which leaves you with just the basics of what you do need to create a nice video. So currently what I use is Camtasia Studio and that is a $250 piece of software and it has a lot of features I never use and some of the features I wish um, they ha actually had integrated with Create by Videlo but the thing is uh, Create by Videlo is a brand new product and so over time I have a feeling that a lot of these little features and options will soon be added to it as they get more feedback uh, from the software. So here we are inside of it and you're going to see the, the layout is very neat, very clean. This is where your uh, videos or images are going to show up where you can play and watch it. This is where all your meat is going to be put once you either add it or record it because over here on the left hand side what you can there's a button here it says record if you click on it you can do a screen recording from your desktop or you can pick a region so if you don't want your entire desktop being recorded you can just pick out a certain region on the page to record or on your desktop uh, or you can record from your webcam uh, your microphone and then start recording and then what's going to happen is once it's done it's going to save the file and put it over here so you can use it now what I'm going to do is actually create a short demo video for you using uh, images and stuff that you can get with Create by Videlo. Now there is an upsell you can get to the pro version. I do highly recommend you get it because it's going to give you the option to integrate so where you can import images, video clips and stuff directly into your media assets here uh, from the software itself by clicking this button here. And what this does it, it shows you pictures, it shows you videos and images. I know down here it says powered by Pixabay. So if you've ever went to pixabay.com, they're royalty free images that you can use. Very high quality. They have videos and images. And right now you can see we're on the footage and we can switch over to images. And what we can do, we can go in here and we can click search for media to find something in particular that we want. Now what I want to do is I'm going to use some footage and we're just going to do something uh, we'll just do mountains and then all you have to do um, is just scroll down pick the images you like and click on import and then what's going to happen up at the top a blue line will go across and then once it's done then that means it got imported into the software so we're going to do a few of these we'll import this one you can see that blue line going across showing you the download process and let's do a few more we'll do this one here and we'll do one at nighttime and one more let's do this one give it a second to finish okay now that it's done we're going to go up here and click on back to editor and we can see the videos are now in our media section so to use these, all we have to do is, direct, is to drag them down here in the timeline. This timeline is the area where you're going to drag all of your files as you're creating your video and putting it together. So it, let's say we want this to be the beginning of our video. So I'm going to drag it down here and we'll put it here on track two. And then we're going to take another one and drag it down here. And this clip is actually really long, so I'm going to shorten it. So to shorten a clip, you can come down here to the minus or plus where you can zoom into your timeline or zoom way out. So I'm going to zoom out so I can come to the end of this and I'm going to just drag it back, make it shorter. And then we're going to take these other ones 
put down here. Now this one is showing black for some reason. We'll see here in a minute if that's just because it's night or if there's something wrong with that one. Now to see your video, all you have to do is grab a hold of this slider and drag it and you'll be able to see it. Okay, so for some reason this one didn't import right, so we're just going to delete it. We're going to click on it, hit the X to delete it, and then we'll drag these other two over to replace it. Okay, and for some reason this one didn't either. Okay, so we'll just use these three for now. Okay, so you can see here that there's black around the outside edges, and I don't want that, so what I can do is I can just take this, and what I'm going to do is just click on one of these and click on Scale. And what that's going to do is automatically expand it to fill the entire space. So now we'll do this one. And actually we may have to drag this. Okay, no. Go over to here, click this one, and scale. Okay, so all of them are now covering the entire screen. And we got the opacity setting here. And you want to make sure if you make any adjustments from any of these settings, whether you're aligning it, uh, fitting the size of it, resizing it, changing the opacity or any of that, you got to make sure that the right clip down here is selected. And if you want to see how it's being affected as you're making these changes, you have to make sure that this slider is over top of that clip so you can view it as you're making those changes. So we got this one selected and the ruler's over it, the marker's over it, so now we can change the opacity if we want to. And you can see how that changes it. And then we can change the positioning and also the fade in and fade out of it. So we're going to leave this the way it is. And now what we can do is we can we can add our own video clips, our own images by clicking this plus sign. It'll ask us where from our computer we want to import from. So if you have your own files you want to use for your videos, you can do that. If you have um, any kind of elements uh, that you download, um, MOV files, MP4 files, anything like that, you, you can layer them. So I can put this image on top of this one and so when it comes over halfway it's going to pick up on this one now what I can even do is I can take this image and we can shrink it like this and we could do something like a picture in picture and then we can drag this one over and have it like that so you, you can do layers multi layers too so we're just going to leave it down here as one and this here is where you can clip the uh, videos you have down here. So if if there's a part of this you don't want, so let's say like we're we don't want this part, this ending right here of this clip. I can just make sure this marker is over where I want to cut it. Make sure I select this clip and click this. And now you're going to notice that it split it. So I can now select this in part and X, and it's going to get rid of it for me. So now what we can do to spice it up even a little bit more is to add some audio. So there's already some audio added to it. And if you get the pro version, you get, I think, a lot of extra. You can search for tracks if you know them by name. Otherwise, you can choose by category. We'll come down here and choose. Let's just do cinematic for the fun of it. We can preview it by clicking the play button. And let's just say we want to use that. So I'm going to click this and drag it and we're going to put it down here. You can see it added it. Now we can see the audio goes way past the video file, so I'm going to come to the end and drag it back. And now we can click play. Okay, we forgot, I forgot to uh, resize that one back. So we're going to take this one and actually just click scale there. And this one doesn't have a whole lot of animation to it, but that's okay. Okay, so there's that. And now what we can do is we can, if we go up to this icon here, we can add our own text. So if I click Add Text, it's going to bring a text box here where I can type something. Or if I don't want that, I can drag one of these over that's pre-made. So if we take this one, I can drag it over and it says celebrate good times and it puts it down here on the timeline where we can adjust it each of these lines or each of these words is on a separate line so this is separate from good times and so you can see down here that we can move them and we can have one of them show up before the other so we can have celebrate show up first and then good times so if I go back to here 
click play. Okay, you can see how Celebrate came up first and then Good Times came up. So that's how that works. And there's so many things you can do with this, especially if you have your own animations, your own clip art. Um, as a bonus, if you buy Create by Videlo through my affiliate link, which is directly under this video, I actually have some bonus clips and animations and even characters that you can use in your videos uh, that I'll give to you guys as a bonus for buying through my link. Um, but up here you can see there's also images. So if I want to add images to it, I can do that. There's emojis. Some of them are animated, some are static. So if we wanted an animated emoji, you can see there are quite a few of them. And we could, this one's here, looks pretty crazy. Just drag it over, put it there. And you can see it, I'm gonna drag it down so we can see what we're doing here. Let's play it. Yeah, that actually kind of fits that music pretty good right there, doesn't it? Okay, so, yeah, I mean, if you wanted that in there for some reason, you know, you, you could put it in there. Um, there's static images you can use. Uh, of course, these are ones that they're, they're obviously not animated. Um, the pictures, so like I was mentioning earlier about the picture in the picture type thing, uh, you can have an image, you can drag it over, and you can resize it to however you want it, and you can move it anywhere, and you can do this too. If you're recording from like your webcam, this could be your webcam video clip here. So you could be recording your desktop in the background and this here could be you on your webcam. You can resize it and put it down here. Uh, kind of like I do on my video like you're watching right now and I'm down here on my bottom screen. Uh, but I also use a green screen which is why you don't see a background. It's just a picture of me. Uh, but you can do it however you want to. And one thing I really like about this that I noticed with uh, Camtasia Studio is that this software is not glitchy at all and it seems like with Camtasia Studio many times it freezes on me I've been halfway through a project before and it just freezes and locks up and shuts down or restarts uh, luckily I have it set up on auto backup but so far from the time I've been using this I've had no issues whatsoever with anything glitching everything has worked flawless which is great Okay, so let's move on to finish this. Uh, let's go ahead and add, oh, you can add shapes too. So if you just want to put a shape in here, uh, maybe you want something to cover the entire screen, you can do that here and then you can come over to text and you can add text in here. Oh, I've got to change the color of it to black. And then you can type whatever you want in this box. So we'll just say type your text here. And I got to get rid of some of these um, tracks I got up here. I got too many and it's hard to let's drag these down. Now one thing I do wish and I hope that they update in this software is that you can select multiple uh, tracks down here at once. So right now you can only select one at a time even if you hold down shift um, or control. It's, it's only allowing you to select one track at a time so if you need to move them or adjust them you got to do it one at a time which really isn't that big of a deal but I'm just used to being able to do it through uh, Camtasia Studio. So let's go ahead and play this and see what it looks like. And so there's your type your text here message. And so if you don't want it to cover the entire uh, screen, you could just bring it down here and you could have it and use it as like, uh, like a subtitle type thing. And for some reason it won't let me drag it. There we go. Okay, so you could do that. And then you have where you can, where it'll fade in or fade out. And so you got that too, let's go ahead and play it. See the text slowly fades in, let's take it down to halfway. Okay. And I believe, I haven't tried doing like everything with it yet, but I believe if I go here, I can do fade in also. And let's see what happens there. It slowly fades in. So what we could do is actually layer this, put this on top, and play it. And it kind of has an effect where it, it it blends in. So we can take this one and fade out while this one here fades in. And 
have it like that, and depending on how short or how long you want it to last. So there's all kinds of things you can do with it. Just um, you got to be creative with it, and it's pretty easy to be creative with it. And once you do all that, and once you're done, you're done adding your audio files, you're done all that. You click the export, choose your location. Now over here, before I forget, um, over here you got where you can choose the resolution of your video. So you can go up to 1080p HD, and there's all different options here too. You can go up to 4K. You can choose whether you want it to display on an iPhone, an iPad, uh, Facebook, social. It'll automatically adjust it so it fits on that. Or if you have your own custom size, you can do that too. You can manually enter your uh, width and height here. Choose the background color. So if you have the background showing, this part of the background showing, you can change that color. So maybe you're making a video for your website and you want to make sure that when the video comes up that if your back if your website background's white, you make the background of the video white so if it, it takes it a second to load, uh, it's not showing black instead of white. Um, let's see what else we got here. Name your project here. And then this one is just the options for aligning. We went over those. Your audio volume. And that's about it. And then when you're done, you can click save and click export and then you can choose where you want to save it to and then it's going to save it at that file type and really that's all there is to it now up here you do have a few other options you can choose the size of this like how big you want it to be now I got a mouse with a wheel on it and if I just uh, move it I can zoom in or out with it which I really like Okay, and that is about it with Create by Videlo. In my opinion, I highly recommend this tool. In fact, I have a feeling I'm going to be using this much more than Camtasia Studio just because it seems like it is so much more reliable. And a lot of the features I don't need, this one has when I do some of my videos. But now there are some that I do need. For example, when I use my green screen, Camtasia Studio has the option for me to remove uh, the green collar from my green screen. This does not. And so uh, whenever I do put my own image down here like I am in this video, I have to use that option. And so these are just a few of the features that I hope that Create by Videlo does add because those seem to be ones that, in my opinion, are really popular and people's going to use a lot. So, But like I said, if you'd want to check it out, that links directly under this video in the description box. It'll take you to my web page where you can uh, get more details. Those coupons will be there if you're buying within the first week of the launch of this product. And also the bonuses will be on that page. So if you guys do buy through my website as a way for me saying thank you, you're going to get those extra bonuses. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Create by Videlo. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you'll get notified when I have other videos like this coming out. Thanks.